from inside Tropicana Field here in Tampa Bay. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. About to get started here. And our pitcher tonight, you Darvish. Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup, Boog. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in an at-bat. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Throws him with the heater at the knees. Oh, nice job right there. He struck him out twice. The pitch before looked like it was strike three. Doesn't get the call. Bears down. Throws another quality pitch for the strikeout. Here's Shohei Otani. The wind in the pitch. Good eye right there. 2-1. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Time now for Dave Roberts' lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but... They've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Swings and misses, struck him out. Dodgers go down quietly, and now the Friars will get their first chance. No score. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back now in Tampa Bay, and taking the ball for the Dodgers, Yamamoto. What do you look for here? We know he's one of the best in the game, doesn't make many mistakes, and if he's in a pinch, he'll make up a pitch and throw something that you've never seen before. Here's the second baseman, ha Sung Kim. Yeah, that's outside. Next one off the plate inside. And now three and one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Hayward pulls it in, and there's one away. Let's take a look at the Padres lineup. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. And here comes Sander Bogarts, and he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So man aboard, one down, and it's Tatis at the plate. Tatis waits. Swings here and blasts one left field. Oh, that ball was a rush. A shot to left, and they jump out front. It's 2-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here's Manny Machado. Ball to strike. 
And a swing and a miss. One and two. And a pitch. Got him. Two out. Batting. And now the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Cronenworth. Next offering is fouled back. And here it comes. Up the middle, Lux. On the run, throw to first. Inning over. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's two-zip. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And up to the plate is Will Smith. The catcher, Will Smith. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The wide, the kick, and the one-two. Now fly ball to right center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. That is it. The third base is number 13. And now it's Max Muncy. Nah. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Here's a 1-1. That one down the line. Fair ball. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a double. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. One out, runner at second. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Ball to strike, the pitch. They say it went. Runner at second here, one gone. And now the count is even. Our plate umpire, Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, boo, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually it has to do something with where he sets up prior to each pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And a pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Three, two now. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he took his chance at getting him to chase right there, but with first base open, walk not a bad thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. On the ground, could be two. Fires to second for one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the inning. Now the DH for the Padres, Luis Campusano. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. The pitch. Gonna count one and two. One ball, two strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away.
Foul ball still a one and two count. And he deals. And a curve is down and in. Up the middle, into the outfield base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes in that A.B. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Man at first. Cal Mitchell to the plate here. Rudder at first with no outs here. That's out to center field. Outman moving under it. And there's one away. Batting in. The catcher. Kyle. Higashioka. So digging in, Kyle Higashioka. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. Right hander kicks deals. Struck him out without a swing. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. And stepping in is the speedy Jose Azokar. 3-1 is on the way. That one hooked foul. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Two outs. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. So one hit is all they get. We play two full. It's the Padres two and the Dodgers nothing. Here's Jason Hayward. He got by the, Dodgers. the right fielder, Jason Hayward. So now one and two. One and two for count. The wide to kick the pitch. Here's a high chopper. Kim gathers and throws the first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. And now it's Gavin Lux. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Kicks and deals. Lux checks his swing. Appeal down to third, and that's going to be ruled a swing. One down, base is empty. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base yeah, paths. Yeah, yeah. Just a mid-90s challenge base. fastball right mm -hmm. there, not much to it, yeah, and yeah. I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because... It was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. Out to short. Bogarts with the throw to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They trail it here 2-0. And now, ha Sung Kim flied out his first time. The second base. And there's ball four. Ball four, four. runner, take your base. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't go. offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here's Xander Bogarts. A walk and a run scored his first time. Here's a 1-1. Ripped to third and caught. 
Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. He's already homered in this game. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at-bat alive. Run around the goal. Still two and two after the foul ball. Righty to the plate. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. And a pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Padres leave one. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Wide out to the warning track. In the air out towards right center. Azokar settles under this one. And a quick out number one. The first base is number five. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Struck out swinging his first time. And a payoff pitch. Yes. And that's the strikeout looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. So he gets now the call bad. and picks up the strikeout yeah, looking. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that. But just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. The batter now will be Will Smith. 0 for 1 with a fly out. That one back up the middle and it gets through. The third base is number 13. Here's Max Muncy. That funky Muncy doubled his first time up. And a 1 1. Wouldn't chase that time. And now it's even up. That one oh. just misses. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. James Outman up next for the Dodgers. Next offering is fouled back. Three, two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Left hand hitter waits. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Yeah. 
stays alive. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Padres two and the Dodgers nothing. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. The first base is They say you win. You know, these Padres do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Nope. And that just misses. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. And the righty deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. Nope, that's Next one is off the plate. Two and one. Yeah, there's the strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. And that one is lifted in the air. Hayward under it and puts the squeeze on that. Two down. The left fielder, number 32. Cal Mitchell, the next up for the Padres. Over one so far. The 2 1. Gets the outside corner with that one. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we were expecting performance wise. Yeah, but great pitchers like this, you may get one opportunity in one inning to get to them, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ball game. Slings to first, and the inning is over. Padres down in order. They're up 2 nothing. Now here is James Outman. The center field, number 33, James Outman. The wind of the pitch. That's in there, and it's three and two. You know, these Dodgers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but so far he's been really effective in this one. Azokar calls it in, and there's one away. You know, sometimes it just takes getting to the bullpen in order to be able to score runs, and that might be the case today. And now Teoscar Hernandez. He's 0 for 1. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Chop to third, and foul ball. Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Grounded out his first time up.
The 1-1. One, one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. No, that's Just it. missed. It's a good take. Two two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Dodgers down in order. They're still down. It's two zip. Kyle Higashioka digs in now. Caught looking his first time up. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And it's fouled away. Really good athlete. And many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Here's a 2-2. The punch out there picks up strikeout number seven. Oh, I can't argue with that one, and clearly he was looking for something else, anything but the breaking ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it, and kind of a gift in a two-strike count, but sometimes you just get fooled and you got to tip your cap. The 1-1. One, one. That one is upstairs. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he still strikes for his pitcher. Lux gets under it, pulls it down, and there's two gone. No matter. Number seven, second baseman. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. He's 0 for 1. And a 2-1 on the way. Lifted in the air right center field. Hayward drifts towards it. And that'll do it. Nothing doing there for the Friars, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Here's a speed threat. Gavin Lux. He struck out swinging at his first yeah, at bat. Lux. The pitch on the ground to third. Machado throws to first in time. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. The second base. Yeah. Now it's Mookie Betts. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. In the air, right field. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to the really drive it. Number five, Freddie Freeman. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Betts leads off first with two down to the inning. That one's in there. Two and two. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego. Robert Suarez getting ready to go. De Los Santos warming up as well. And now two and two. 
Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Padres two and the Dodgers nothing. And here is Xander Bogarts. The MO for him is contact. A guy who's going to deliver average, not a ton of power. He's looking to hit a line drive somewhere. Well, that's why it's a team. And when you look at a lineup, he's a great two-hole hitter or a guy that you could put at the One, bottom two. to help turn that lineup over to have some momentum for your top hitters coming up to the plate. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first-pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Swings and misses. One down. Just beautiful placement of the splitter right there. Exactly where you want it with two strikes to get that swing and miss. And he's worked very hard to be able to command that pitch. It's a tough pitch to get a grip on, but he's one of the best at throwing it where he wants to. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. His homer earlier is responsible for the only runs they've scored in this one. Yeah, forget small ball. They're kind of living and dying by the long ball so far in this one. And the pitch goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. On the ground to short, Lux. Tosses across to first. Machado out of the play. Play made, that ends the inning. Padres go down quietly as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. And now, Will Smith, one for two. Will. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. And that's a check swing at a ball in the dirt. And it's three and two. Rolled over to third. Sends it across to first. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Max Muncy at the dish. The pitch. That one misses. Oh. Now two balls and a two strike. And one. And that's a strike. Two two. Ouch. He had two strikes on him. And he hit him. Boog, do you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That does it for you, Darvish. Really solid performance out of him as he leaves. Lim lead. We'll take a break. New arm when we get back. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound. Yogi Matsui. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And up next for Los Angeles, James Outman. Muncy, the base runner at first with one out. The next pitch misses, three and two now. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Machado puts the squeeze on that one, and there's two away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Here's the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Oh. 
in the air right side of the infield. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that is the inning. One left for L.A. They trail things here 2-0. Alex Vesia into the game. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Digging in, Jake Cronenworth. For the first base. The lefty ready and a 1 1. Fall off foul. The pitch to the right side. Bats up with it to first and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now, And next is the designated hitter, Luis Campusano. At the belt and fires. Bounced out to short, Lux. Two up, two down. Now got left Two outs, base is empty. Cal Mitchell, the next up for the Padres. Pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Lux. Fires over to first. That's the third out. Inning over. So digging in, Jason Haywood. The right field. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Swings and misses. And yeah, the count one and two. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. That's the ball. And it's even up. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. New arm out of the bullpen, Robert Suarez. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Smash to the left side. Over to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eight. Here's Mookie now. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. Right-handed reliever. Hard hit, right side. He takes it on his own. Out number three. Dodgers go down quietly, and they're down 2 nothing. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, J.P. Fireisen. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. So digging in now for San Diego, Kyle Higashioka. Here comes a pitch. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. That one fouled off, two and two. And here it comes. Chopper right side. Freeman over to first in time. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Jose 
Jose Azokar, the next up for the Padres. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Hernandez snags it for the second out. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Ha-Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it. Uh, to improve your game, but ultimately, you either have it or you don't. Righty delivers. Fights it off. He'll see another. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals but he's a guy when you watch him play you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield on the ground right oh. side and it goes just foul yeah some guys just have instincts right I mean that's the way it goes we talk about Larry Walker the Hall of Famer and his instinct on the bases Walker, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid very close off the outside no, 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 corner no, 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 could have easily been called a strike in that location two outs runner at first Xander Bogarts the next up for the Padres kicks and fires in the air right field Hayward settles underneath it he makes the grab and that will end the inning out of the bullpen for the Padres Gore save opportunity for him right here and he's their guy time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. And now the DH, Shohei Otani. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. 1-1 one, one now. And misses inside. Could be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, and that's a double. Singy, that's a start. Yeah, as soon as that ball got through, I could see down in the dugout, guys pumping their fists. They know that they got a chance in this ball game. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The tying run at the plate. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Otani stands at second with no outs. Next offering is down low. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Tying run at the plate. Battling here as he fouls it away. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Comebacker to the mound. Tosses to first. Now one gone in the ninth. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. One for three. 
Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. He'll circle the bases, and we are tied. It's 2-2. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate in my experience when you're looking out over the plate allowing the ball to travel it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location that's a tremendous swing here comes Max Muncy this guy with light tower power close but oh. call the ball and it's two and one The wind of the pitch. Activity in the bullpen. Steven Wilson getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Cox, a left-hander, also throwing. Still only one out here in the inning. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. New pitcher on here, Tom Cox. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. They try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Swings through that one for strike two. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. On the ground. Dive, and he's got it. Quickly to second for one. And that's quick work out of the pen. One batter, two outs, inning over. But some late-inning heroics as this home run gets us even again. 2-2 Two -two game. To the mound now, they turn to Blake Trinan. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. He's already homered here in this one. And the right-hander deals. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Movement in the bullpen. Evan Phillips up and throwing. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Next pitch is in the dirt. Ball two. Ground ball left side, and it's just foul. That was close. And a pitch. And now it's filled up. Manny Machado on deck for the Padres. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And he deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a 3-2. And a swing and a miss. One gone here. 
very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Here's Machado. And Manny gets a piece. Towards first, Freeman. The flip to the pitcher covering. Machado out of the play. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. The 1 1. There's the strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Cracks his bat and pops him off. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down that time. Tenth inning coming up. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. Go ahead, run on base. Now the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And here in the 10th, the leadoff man is out. The Dodgers going with a pinch hitter, Miguel Rojas. And this is a big at bat in this ball game. Man at second. That's in there. One and two here. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Tatis makes the grab and there's two gone. And next for L.A., Gavin Lux. In there. And so now one and two. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Two down. Go ahead, run at scoring position. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. And a pitch. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Out to short, Bogarts. In plenty of time to first, third out, and that ends the frame. So the Dodgers leave one. Score remains 2-2. Two -two. Now into the game, Manuel Margot. He takes over and right. Number 22. Now it's the DH, Luis Campusano. It's amazing we get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares 
managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other. Now this is through for a base hit. Hernandez fires it to the plate. Save! Ball game. They walk it off. You know, he had to feel the pressure. Winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact. And the winning run comes across to score. Everyone going crazy. Exciting finish to this game today. A 3-2 final score in this one. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.